This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for September 23rd. I'm James Spanfield. It's very nice seeing a few 40s in pockets around Alabama this morning. But change is coming up tomorrow. Let's take a look at the big picture this morning. You can see how dry air covers much of the state, but we note moisture from Dothan down into the Florida Panhandle. They could see some showers on the immediate Gulf Coast today. But around here, the sky should be mostly sunny, but a big trough out west is moving this way. It's progressive, and that will bring a chance of showers as early as tomorrow. And yet yeah, feels good. Look at all the 50s up on that map. Fort Payne is sitting at 50. Some of the smaller stations not on that map are in the upper 40s early this morning. The first official morning of fall. Feels so good. And really around the nation, it's nice and crisp just about everywhere. Uh, the warm air really limited to uh, South Florida. And obviously with continental air over much of the nation, severe weather, not a problem today. This is the rain for the next five days. Valid through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. And this is showing rain amounts of about one half to one inch for most of Alabama. Bigger totals down over the Florida Peninsula. And the bulk of that will come tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, maybe into Wednesday morning. And look at that. The tropics on the 23rd of September are amazingly quiet. This should be a time where things are very active out there, and they are just not. All right, let's check the GFS, the Global Forecast System model. This is valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. Big upper low that's over the northern tip of Maine. Strong trough coming into the Plain States. And down below that, the air dries. So a sunny day today with a high anywhere from 80 to 84 not quite as cool as yesterday, but still feels pretty good. Uh, we do note moisture lingers over the Florida panhandle, so places like Panama City and Destin could see showers today. And a strong gradient out across the plains. It'll be windy over Minnesota and Iowa and Nebraska in advance of that big trough. All right, this is tomorrow at 1 o'clock, and you can see uh, rain should be falling over much of Mississippi, and that rain will be creeping in here as we have the upper trough coming in. And also, uh, a broad low is down there in the western gulf that's moving up this way. That's the uh, remnant of Invest 95L that was down over uh, the Bay of Campeche late last week. Uh, this is the high-res NAM at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, showing showers moving in here. So uh, uh, we'll, develop, uh, we'll forecast developing showers tomorrow, probably the better chance tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. And then Wednesday, there could be some lingering rain during the morning hours, but I would say by midday, the rain will be out of here. So probably the main window for rain about noon tomorrow until noon Wednesday with amounts of one half to one inch likely. I'm not so sure we get out of the 70s tomorrow because of the clouds and showers. We might see low 80s on Wednesday. It depends on if the sun breaks out. Thursday, the air noticeably drier. The sky should be sunny with uh, mid-80s. The same thing on Friday. Uh, no rain issues again for high school football games this week. And this is Saturday as we start the weekend. And really, there's an upper high that is situated over uh, between Baton Rouge and Jackson. And uh, down below that, we should be dry as a bone. So for the college football games, no problems. Uh, highs, again, I'd say low to mid-80s. Uh, thank goodness this is late September with the uh, shorter days, longer nights. Those upper highs not as uh, tough as they can be in July and August. We note a cold front coming in from the west. We'll see how that works out on Sunday. This is Sunday at midday. That front is nearing Alabama, and it looks like we'll start the day Sunday with dry conditions. Maybe the whole day will work out to be dry, but uh, we probably need to mention some risk of a shower by Sunday night, and then Monday that front comes in here with a weakening band of showers. So some risk of a little rain a week from today, but it certainly doesn't look like a big deal, a big rain event. Uh, we'll go out there a little later to October 4th. Hey, a little tropical system shows up east of Florida. Look at the cold air up over the uh, northern plains. That's cold. A 1038 high. It'll be below freezing over parts of uh, the Dakotas and Minnesota. And this is the 8th of October. Uh, the winds aloft are getting faster as they should this time of the year. Of course, the core of the jet is a bit north of here, and that would be dry and pleasant if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock or so this afternoon. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.